Ah, the sizzle of McDonald's sausage. It's enough to make you crave your favorite breakfasts. Enough to head over to McDonald's. Enough to make you really wish this commercial were scratch and sniff. And if you're a sausage person, now get two satisfyingly savory sausage McGriddles, sausage biscuits, or sausage burritos for just three thirty three, or mix and match. Price and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Single item at regular price. Ba da ba ba ba. to take you down to Pine Ridge for another visit with Lum and Abner. Brought to you by the makers of Horlicks, the original malted milk. Horlicks malted milk. You know, when I talk about Horlicks, I often think what a remarkable place this old world of ours really is. Here am I telling hundreds of thousands of people about the same malted milk that several years ago I gave to my own baby daughter. Times certainly have changed a lot in the last few years, but Horlicks will always be the original and genuine malted milk. Although there are many imitations on the market today, Horlicks is made from full, rich cream milk, carefully selected wheat and malted barley, specially processed to bring out the rich malt flavor and to preserve the vitamins and minerals. You can always rely on Horlicks, knowing it's the best for both quality and results that money can buy. Always be sure and insist on Horlicks, the original. And now... Let's see what's happening down in Pine Ridge. Well, the Pine Ridge Planetarium opened Saturday afternoon with a free matinee that drew a capacity crowd. However, Squire Skint got all the paid admission business Saturday night. (laughs) And Lum and Abner haven't taken in enough business to pay expenses. As we look in on Pine Ridge today, we find the two old fellows down at the Jot and Down store, evidently very discouraged with the show business. Listen. Well, letting them all in for nothing Saturday afternoon might have had something to do with it, Abner. Yeah, it might have, for I never seen so many people in my life we had down there. Yeah, they all seen it to nothing that afternoon. Naturally, they weren't going to come back that night and pay to see it. No, no, that, that might have been it, Lom. But I know Squire sure had a crowd over at his place Saturday night. They just might not have broke the stairs down getting up there. Mm. Had to run a picture over twice, Elizabeth said. Elizabeth said. Was she there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, her and Pearl both went. Well, that's a fine howdy to do. Your whole family going over to our competitor's place of business. Well, they done saw our show Saturday afternoon. Yeah, they could at least come back that night and made it look like we had a crowd anyway. I think Grandma and Grandpa Bates got kind of low from sitting down there in the front row by themselves. Yeah, well, I wouldn't be surprised. But it was nice of them to come, oh, wasn't it? Well, yes, but uh, they went to Squire's place first, you know. They never knowed it was in the old lodge hall upstairs there, and Grandma weren't able to find them steps. That's the reason they come over there. Yeah, yeah, well, sir, that's one advantage. We've got old Squire had Mars on the ground floor that way. Yeah, we'll get all them that can't climb them steps over there, but I hate to take just the leavings that way. I got awful lonesome sitting out there in the box office in front there. Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> I had to wake you up when I come out there to tell you that the show was over. You sound asleep. <laughs> well, something's got to be did, I know. We can't go on this way. Ain't even paying extra. Uh, uh, I believe that's all right. Yeah. I hope it ain't nobody wanting groceries delivered. I ain't in no humor to put up no grocery order. No, me neither. Hello? This is a Pine Ridge Planetary, or uh, jot them down store talking. I mean, Lum Edder's talking. <laughs> Who? <laughs> oh, how are you, Miss Phillips? Oh, <laughs> Why, we've got the same picture that we had Saturday, the Texas kid. It's an uncommonly good... Uh... Oh, you did? Well, you might enjoy seeing it again. I know I liked it better the second time. Yeah, me too. No one's on the now. Uh, well, of course, everybody's different that way. Well, we're going to change pictures Wednesday night again. Yes, Mom. Well, I don't know yet what it'll be. We don't know till they get out here, you know. Yes, Mom. 
All right. Thank you for calling. Er, yeah. Goodbye. Mom. Oh, goodbye. Are they coming to the show tonight, huh? No, she said she's seen it Saturday afternoon free for nothing. Oh. I granny, every time that phone's rung today, it's been somebody won't know what the picture show's going to be tonight. And when I tell them, they all say they've seen it Saturday afternoon. Yeah, yeah, I believe that's a mistake, keeping that same picture for three days that way on. Well, I asked that fellow who runs the lyric in there at the county seat, and he said he kept the same picture for three days because it was cheaper that way. Yeah, but now Squire Skimp's got a brand new one tonight. Going to have uh, Granddaddy Longlegs over there. Daddy Longlegs is the name of it. You're thinking about them bugs they call Granddaddy Longlegs. No, no, I was thinking about the picture all right, but <laughs> I just said the wrong name. <laughs> That's what I say. Oh. That's what's been worrying me all day. I'm just busting to see that picture, but I don't think it'd look right for us to be going over to Squire show. No. Of course, we might dress ourselves up so that nobody wouldn't know it. Dress ourselves up? Yeah. I was just thinking, I could wear that Santa Claus suit I've got over at the place I used last Christmas over at the schoolhouse there. Yeah, you look fine over there if that get up on this time of year. Children's all see you and think it's Christmas time. Yeah. <laughs> Break up the show over there. They'd all want to follow you out of there. All right, doggies, now that might be a good idea. <laughs> I could just lead them right on over to our show and charge them all ten cents to follow me inside. <laughs> oh, work that now. It might. I might could wear a pair of them dark sunglasses and pull my hat down over my face right good before anybody wouldn't know me. Well, all me, Ron, you couldn't see the show with them smoke glasses on. Yeah, that's right. Then if I wish nobody around here knowed me. No, I don't know. Oh, there's all rang again. Yeah, I'll right. give it, I'll give it. Hello? If you got them down store, I'm at doing the talking. Why, we've got the same show tonight that we had Saturday, the Texas Kid. Yeah, now they don't come Oh, yes, it is. It's an uncommonly good picture. You will? Well, good for you. Good for you. <laughs> All right, Mose. We'll be looking for you. Much obliged. <laughs> There's a fine man, you know it. Who was it, Mose Mose? Yeah, and they're coming to the show tonight. He had to work Saturday and couldn't see it. <laughs> oh, him, huh? Well, what's the matter? Well, nothing except you give him a pass, didn't you? Huh? Yeah, that's right, I did. Why, well, sure. I wish I'd have thought of that so that I wouldn't have been so nice to him. We may have to run that whole show for just him and his family. Well, I wanted to... Look, wait, look on it. Oh, for goodness sake, what's he doing coming over here? I don't know. Looks to me like he'd have learned enough the other day when we run him out over there to stay away from us. Yeah, granny. Found you coming over here for another one of his propositions trying to buy us out. Well, ain't no telling, Dad. Blame it, I wish he'd stay away from here. Yeah, I'm surprised him showing his face again. Uh, don't act mad at him. We, we don't want him to think we're downhearted or nothing. He don't know how much business we're doing, you know. That makes him think we're doing a big business, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> don't let him know. Come in, Squire. Well, good evening, gentlemen. Good evening. How are my old friends today? You, you mean us? Oh, we're both feeling all right, I think. Ain't you long? Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sure. Well, uh, how's this show business, man? <laughs> well, just fine. <laughs> Awful well pleased with it. Ho, ho. Mm. Uh, how is it with you, Squire? Well, frankly, gentlemen, I'm a little disappointed. I, I never had to give but two shows Saturday night, but I look for a nice turnout tonight. Mm. Expect to run uh, three or four shows anyway. A good picture I've got over there, too. Yeah, it's a shame you ain't doing no better. I reckon we had most of the business Saturday night. Huh, Mom? Hey, Chef Edna. Yes, uh, well, I'm uh, making some changes over there. It's going to help things, I believe. I uh, let Grandpappy Spears go today and hire the Macmillan boys in their string band. Going to have them give a concert out in front of the theater every night there, and I believe it'll attract a big crowd. You say you let Grandpappy go? Yes, yes, uh, that player piano wasn't enough music by itself. Well, uh, I thought you had Grandpappy sign a three-month contract to work for you. Well, I did, Lum, but that was just binding him. There wasn't anything in the contract that said how long that I'd keep it. Yeah. <laughs> He never sees Squire Skimp get himself into anything that he can't get out of. Well, it's kind of hard on Grandpap, though. He quit us to go to work for you. Well, that's his hard luck, Lum. He ought to know what he's assigning. 
Uh, he knowed. He told us it was a contract. So Grandpa's out of a job now, huh? Yes, yes, I'm afraid so. But uh, that's not what I come over to see you men about, so. Well, if you come over here to make another offer on buying a third interest in our picture show, Squire, you're just wasting your time. I can tell you that. Uh, right no, on. no, no, Lum. I'll change my mind about that. I wouldn't have a third interest in your show if you'd give it to me. I just wanted to make some arrangements with you men to take care of the overflow from my theater over there. The overflow? Yes, I see right now that I'm not going to be able to take care of the crowd over at my place, and if I can make a deal with you to take care of the overflow, I'll send them on over to your place, and I'll give you five cents on every one that I send over there. Uh, wait a minute. You mean anybody that you send over to our show, we just get a nickel of the admission? Well, uh, yes, I think that's fair enough, Lum. Uh, you won't have anybody over there except those that I can, can't get in my place anyway. Well, I'll tell you right now, we ain't interested. Our price is a quarter, and that's what you'll have to pay to get in. And when they do pay it, we aim to keep it. Uh, the best thing for you to do, Squire, is just run that business of yours and let us run ours. Yeah, and quit coming over here making these propositions. We ain't interested in nothing that you've got anything to do with. You think you've got the best of us in this picture show business, but we ain't through yet. Fact is, we ain't good and started. Well, if that's the way you gentlemen feel about it, all right. But don't come around to me later begging me to make you some kind of an offer. I was just trying to help you, all I was trying to do. But now I'll break you. I'll have that place of yours closed in a week's time. Well, we'll get along without you, don't you worry. Yeah, we'll see who does the breaking around here. Just leave us alone, that's all we ask. Well, good day, gentlemen, good day. God, he's at him letting Grandpap go after promised in three months' work. Yeah. All right, Granny, hand me that statute book, Admiral. I've got an idea. Yeah, yeah, sure. What's the matter? What you want with it, Lon? Huh? Well, Grandpap's got a contract that calls for three months' work over there, and I believe he can make Squire pay him for three months' work where he works or not. Well, he ought to after getting Grandpap to quit his job over here. Let's see. Where would I find to keep that in here? Anyway, I hate that old man. Ordinances. Don't reckon it'd be in their city ordinances, would it? I don't know, Lum. I don't know. <laughs> Here's some old ones in there made way back, you know. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Here's that old one we found once before about it. Being getting the law for a fella to drive an automobile down the main street, tell somebody going along the front carrying a red flag warning everybody that he's coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we collect that. <laughs> but he'd have a hard time doing that now, do you? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Here's another old one. It's it shall be unlawful to hold a theatrical entertainment in any building above the ground floor because of the fire hazards. <laughs> any violation of this ordinance... Now, wait a minute, Lon. Lon, is that still a law? Yeah, never has been appealed. Of course, nobody don't pay no attention well, to it. Well, could you arrest somebody for running a picture show on the upstairs of a building now? Wait a minute. I believe I know what you're talking about. Let huh? me read that thing again. It shall be unlawful to hold a theatrical entertainment in any building above the ground floor because of the fire hazard. Any violation? <laughs> well, this looks like a mighty good way to eliminate some very disagreeable competition. And now, attention all mothers. Here's a very important letter from a mother in Berwyn, Illinois. It concerns every one of you. Listen. I have a three-month-old baby. I was advised at the clinic to give him Horlicks smothered milk to help him gain in weight. So I went to a drugstore and asked for a package of Horlicks. The salesman assured me that their own brand was every bit as good and that it was much less expensive than Horlicks. Well, I bought the substitute and used it for two weeks. I took my baby back to the clinic. She had gained only two ounces. Then we used Horlicks smothered milk. And in two weeks more, my baby gained over eight ounces. The reason I am writing this is because I want you to know how this store talks people into buying their own brand of malted milk. I wish you people would try and put a stop to that practice. When it comes to baby food, I think it ought to be stopped. That mother is right. To be safe, always insist on Horlicks, the original, when you buy malted milk. Horlicks, which gives results. This is Carlton Brickert, speaking for Lum and Abner and Horlicks, who now bid you all good night and good health.
a sizzle of McDonald's sausage. It's enough to make you crave your favorite breakfast. Enough to head over to McDonald's. Enough to make you really wish this commercial were scratch and sniff. And if you're a sausage person, now get two satisfyingly savory sausage McGriddles, sausage biscuits, or sausage burritos for just three thirty three, or mix and match. Price and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Single item at regular price. Ba da ba ba ba.